practicing today using my new cable setup for the first time, testing out, making sure it all works. I mean, it's just cable, so it, you know it's not going to sound any different, but just to make sure it all works. But I thought I'll give you a quick, a quick rig rundown, let you see what I'm up to. So, as you've seen, I have a mic and I have my pedal board. Uh, so this is my guitar cable that does guitar and IEMs. So the signal path is guitar, goes into guitar jack, runs down this cable and plugs into my, there's the other end of the cable there, plugs into my Zoom multi effects which does all my sounds. I'm currently playing Californication, so that's the chorus, that's the verse. Signal, guitar signal comes out of the Zoom, goes into this DI box which splits the signal. So half the signal would come out of there, amp, and go into the amp, which I'm not using right now because I'm only practicing, which means I don't need the amp because I hear the guitar in my, my ears. The other half of the signal comes out of here, and here's where the new fun starts. So we have this chap. This has four connections on one side, which are XLRs, and one connection on the other. Okay. So, and it's sending it down Cat5 cable. All right. So basically I've got my guitar goes one of the connections. I've got my microphone which comes down here and is plugging into oh, hello Jack into another one. My third one is actually my IEM feed coming back the other way, which is this one. So I've got two signals going going up to the mixer and I've got one signal coming back from the mixer and I've got a spare. So Whoever's standing next to me could plug their mic in here, and that's it. Uh, the cable I got is 10 meters. You can actually run these up to 50 meters long. I figured 10 meters was enough. The one cable. So the reason I've got this is because I used to have to have three cables running from my pedal board to the mixer, which is a bit of a pain. So here's the other end. The other end is exactly the same, except that the gender of the connectors is the opposite. So these are males, the other ends were females, so there's the blue one which isn't being used. So there's my, well oh, here's our mixer, which I've only actually used in anger once and I've had it in, in my house ever since. Anyway, there's my mic. I'll do another video where I explain how I've got this set up, but basically it's like mics are the first four, one each. Then guitars, five, six and seven, these three, so that's my guitar. Then drums here, we need them, would be this lot here. So we've got plenty of spares. Uh, we also have an aux light in, which is my f another phone, which is providing a click track. And then at the back is where the monitors come out. So here's my monitor feed coming out, plugging into one of the XLRs. So I said I've got two signals going from my pedal board to the mixer and one coming back to do my in-ears. Uh, I've got this laptop set up it's recording, it's recording one, two, three, four, five. it's recording six tracks, which is basically my vocals completely dry, my vocals with reverb coming through the mixer, the click track, the guitar dry as it comes up my pedal board and the guitar with reverb. I just wanted to hear the difference. Uh, and then my PC, it's just running the uh, Xair mixing software. So you can see this, this is a setup I have just for practicing, which is basically just got my vocal on channel one, which is where it'd be normally, my guitar on channel five, and then the line in, which is my phone, on channel 17 and 18. This mixer combines 17 and 18 together into one channel because that's a stereo channel. Then we've got four effects. I've got a Vox reverb, a Vox delay, which I'm experimenting with, but probably won't use. A drum reverb I've set up if we ever need to make up the drums, and I've got another IEM reverb just for the IEMs, which I'll talk about another time. So anyway, that's the new rig.